All right, I'm going to title this how to redneck it the right way, maybe. Um, okay, these are our puppies. Falco, the big Brutus in front of you, and Sokka, the mommy, and Jackson, the little baby. He's four months old. Mommy just got fixed today. I'm sorry, yesterday she we picked her up today. She's not feeling the best. This is Jackson's current home. He prefers under the tree. And that's his future home that we'll be building hopefully shortly. We've... Mm, project in work. Anyway, they're quite happy. He's adorable and just the sweetest puppy ever. And here we have the goat pen. We bought our supplies from Premier One. Best electric fencing ever. I need to tighten up some ropes. We just installed this a month ago, four weeks ago. So the ropes have started sagging a little bit due to all the rain. And we opted for this charger, which can run off of AC, DC, or solar. We've got a battery. We're hoping to put in a solar panel soon. And then our goats, let's see if I can zoom in here. Yes, I can. They're over there, and here they come. We have Oberhosleys. They are sweet as can be. The best lovey-dovey goats ever, and they love blackberries, which is what our problem was. That's Mama, the big one, obviously. That's Nutmeg. We kept her name that she was given by her previous owner because she's had it for three and a half years and this is Willow. She is four months old as well. She was born about the same day as Jackson was. And this is, I'm sorry, the blue structure is their house. Yes, I have a ladder in there, rednecking it. Gotta do with what you got, what you have. I had to keep the water off of them and the tarp had developed a hole in the middle of it. So now I have the water draining down the tarp and into their water bucket when it rains. Not the cleanest because it gets some debris in it, but as long as we keep it clean, it's all right and we can still dump it out. Behind that piece of wood, which used to be part of our old chicken coop, which was too heavy to move, that we tore apart, is their vitamins and baking soda. This is remnants of what we moved them into when we first got them. And we'll be moving the baby chicks and mama hen into there as soon as I get one more tea post. And then we move on to, whoop, let me zoom out. This is our redneck shed. <laughs> we made it with cattle panels and tea posts. And then on these cattle panels, we have, if I can find one, move Falco, here we go, tent pegs to hold it down because as of right now, it is the perfect width for us. We've got a lot of feed, a lot of tools, obviously our lawn tractor, all in there. So, let's see, next... It's going to be a bit of a little, a little bit of a hike. I'm walking through the parking lot area. Oh, let me touch on this. Now, we moved into where a mobile home used to be, which that's the foundation and all the crap they left behind. This is a gardenia, which I'm keeping. And here... Obviously, is a crepe myrtle, which I'm keeping. And then over here, don't laugh. Well, go ahead and laugh. It's funny. It is. It's quite funny. We have our mobile baby chick brooder. Yes, that's a dog kennel in a trailer that I can keep snakes out of. And yes, those are... 
uh, crawl space vents from the previous owner's mobile home. And yes, that's the top of a dog kennel from the previous owner that was thrown aside. And those are cinder blocks from the previous foundation. And okay, yes, it's rednecked, but it works. And here, if I can get in there, there are eight new chicky babies. And they're doing quite well. And yes, that is cable from the previous house that I had to move aside. This is Barry. And she has eight chickies. Yesterday she had seven. One I had to save. And it survived. And today we had a new hatchling that was dried off when I got home, but not quite ready to run around. Actually fell out of here to follow her down. And he, he, she is doing just fine. They are getting grass for the first time and learning how to dust bathe, which she desperately needed. And yes, here's the problem with the fence. They get out. But, Luckily, they stay close to mommy, so it's not that big of a deal, and we only let them out of that place when we're home, so we can keep an eye on them. Anyway, here's how to redneck it right, <laughs> I suppose.